Hello and welcome to this video of 18th set of problems on arithmetic progression, geometric progression and harmonic progression. And like always I will say that when I am reading the problem you should pause the video and try to solve the problem yourself. If you cannot solve the problem yourself only then look at the solution and try to understand that. So without further delay let's get started. Problem 171 says that find the sum to n terms of the series 1 by 1x plus 1 by 1 by 1 plus x into 1 plus 2x plus 1 by 1 plus 2x into 1 plus 3x plus 1 by 1 plus 3x into 1 plus 4x and so on. So here we observe that our nth term is 1 by 1 plus nx into 1 plus n plus 1 into x. We apply partial fraction on that to get 1 by x multiplied with 1 by 1 plus nx minus 1 by 1 plus n plus 1x. So we substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. We get t1 is equal to 1 by x multiplied with 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus 2x. t2 would be 1 by x into 1 by 1 plus 2x minus 1 by 1 plus 3x. And so on we obtain tn and we just rewrite this value over here. So you see 1 plus 2x will get cancelled here and 1 plus 3x will get cancelled with t3. And similarly, this 1 by 1 plus nx will get cancelled. So what remains untouched is 1 by x into 1 by 1 plus x and 1 by x into 1 by 1 plus n plus 1x with minus sign. So if you add all this from t1 to tn, you get 1 by x into 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus n plus 1 into x, which upon simplification will give us n by 1 plus x into 1 plus n plus 1 into x because when you do this this one will get cancelled and this x with 1 will get cancelled with this x so what will remain is an x in the numerator and x will get cancelled so we will have n. Problem 172 says that find the sum to n terms of the series 1 by 1 plus x into 1 plus ax plus a by 1 plus ax into 1 plus a square x plus 1 by 1 plus a square x into 1 plus a cube x and so on. So here an nth term would be a to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus a to the power n minus 1x into 1 plus a to the power nx. Upon applying partial fraction this becomes 1 by a minus 1 into x multiplied with 1 by 1 plus a to the power n minus 1x minus 1 by 1 plus a to the power nx. So again we substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. And we write t1 as 1 by a minus 1 by x which will be common for all the terms here and in the brackets we have 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus ax. For t2 we will have 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus a square x in brackets and tn we have just evaluated. So if you see again like previous problem 1 by 1 plus x will get cancelled with 1 by 1 plus x and similarly 1 by 1 plus a square x will get cancelled. And for nth term 1 by 1 plus n minus 1x will get cancelled. So what remains is this guy and this guy. So our sum would be 1 by a minus 1x multiplied with 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus a to the power nx. Problem 173 says that find the nth term of the series minus 1 minus 3. 3, 23, 63, 129. Here the first order difference would be that is the successive difference minus 2, 6, 20, 40, 66. And the second order differences would be 8, 14, 20, 26. And third order differences would be a constant 6. So we apply the formula we learned in previous video that is Tn is equal to T1. T1 is minus 1 in our case minus delta t1 which is minus 2 into n minus 1 c1 plus delta square t1 which is 8 into n minus 1 c2 plus delta cube t1 which is 6 into n minus 1 c3. So nth term is n cube minus 2n square minus 3n plus 3 which is what has been asked from us in this question. Problem 174 says that find the sum to n terms of the series 1 by 1 plus square root of 3 plus 1 by square root of 3 plus square root of 5 plus 1 by square root of 5 plus square root of 7 and so on. So in this case, nth 
term would be 1 by square root of 2n minus 1 plus square root of 2n plus 1. So I multiply and divide this by square root of 2n minus plus 1 minus square root of 2n minus 1. So our denominator will become 2. And numerator would be square root of 2n plus 1 minus square root of 2n minus 1. Now we substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. We obtain t1 as square root of 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2. T2 would be square root of 5 by 2 minus square root of 3 by 2 and so on. So here you see square root of 3 by 2 will get cancelled here and square root of 5 by 2 will get cancelled and similarly for next term square root of 2n minus 1 by 2 will get cancelled. So if we add all this, this square root of 2n plus 1 by 2 minus half will remain which is our sum in this case. Problem 175 says that if a1, a2 up to an and so on are in AP with first term a and common difference t then prove that a1, a2 plus a2, a3 and so on up to an, a n plus 1 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d into a plus n d. Ah, there is something missing. Uh, there is a term missing here. Okay, we will find out that term here. Ah, a into n plus 1 into d is missing here minus a minus d into a into a plus d by 3d is equal to n by 3 into 3a square plus 2a and d plus n square minus 1d square. Here kth term would be ak into ak plus 1 and k plus 1 is term tk plus 1 will be ak plus 1 into ak plus 2. So we see that k plus ak plus 2 tk is equal to ak into tk plus 1. So now we expand these ak plus 2 and ak we get a1 plus k plus 1 into d whole multiplied with tk minus a1 plus k minus 1 into d whole multiplied with tk plus 1. We rewrite this in the form in such a way that we have this pattern so that we can cancel out stuff. So we, we write this as a1 plus k minus 2 d tk minus a1 plus k minus 1 into d tk plus 1 is equal to minus 3 d tk. Now we substitute k is equal to 1 2 3 up to n. So we obtain a1 minus d from here t1 minus a1 plus 0 t2 from here is equal to minus 3 d1. Similarly for k is equal to 2 this would be a1 plus 0, t, 0 d into t2 from this and then minus a1 plus d t3 from this is equal to minus 3d2 and similarly we write the nth term here. We add all this the right hand side would become minus 3d into t1 plus t2 up to tn and the right hand side would be this guy uh, sorry this minus this so it would be a1 minus d sorry this minus this okay so this would be a1 minus d t1 minus a1 plus n minus 1 into tn plus 1. So now it's a matter of simple substitution and you have your solution proven. Problem 176 says that if a1, a2 up to an and so on are in AP with first term a and common difference d and prove that a1, a2, a3 plus a2, a3, a4 up to n n plus 1 n plus 2 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d into a plus n d into a plus n plus 1 d into a plus n plus 2 d minus a minus d into a into a plus d into a plus 2 d is equal to n by 4 4 a cube plus 6 into n plus 1 a square d plus 2 into 2 n square plus 3 n minus 1 a d square plus n cube minus 2 n square minus n minus 2 into d cube. So this is similar to previous problem just the difference is instead of two terms we have three terms now. So similarly in this case we will have a k plus 3 t k is equal to a k t k plus 1 and we obtain the same pattern here which is a1 plus k minus 2 d t k minus a1 plus k minus d 1 into d t k is equal to minus 4 d t k in this case it is minus 4 in previous case it is about minus 1 the pattern we want to obtain is same so we proceed in similar way and we arrive at the solution 
problem 177 says that find the sum to any terms of the series 3 by 1 square into 2 square plus 5 by 2 square into 3 square plus 7 by 3 square into 4 square and so on. So here our nth term is 2n plus 1 divided by n square into n plus 1 whole square which is equal to 1 by n square minus 1 by n plus 1 whole square. So we now substitute n is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n and we obtain this result. So you see 1 by 2 square will be cancelled with this. 1 by 3 square will get cancelled as well with t3 and for t n 1 by n square will be cancelled. So s is equal to n into n plus 2 by n plus 1 whole square. Problem 178 says that let Sn denote the sum to n terms of the series 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 and so on and sigma n minus 1 that 2 n minus 2 n terms of the series 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 plus 1 by 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. Then prove that 18 Sn sigma n minus 1 minus Sn is equal to minus 2. Now for the first series nth term is n into n plus 1. So evaluate Sn which comes out to be n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 3. Now from problem 155 remember sigma n we have computed as 1 by 18 minus 1 by 3 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. So sigma n minus 1 would be 1 by 18 minus 1 by 3n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. So once we have Sn and sigma n minus 1, it is a trivial matter to show the desired equality. Problem 179 says that find 5 by 1 into 2 into 1 by 3 plus 7 by 2 into 3 into 1 by 3 square plus 9 by 3 into 4 into 1 by 3 cube and so on up to n terms. <coughs> So Tn in this case is 2n plus 3 by n into n plus 1 into 1 by 3n, 3 to the power n. So we apply partial fraction, we obtain this as 3 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 into 1 by 3 to the power n. Now we substitute n is equal to 1 to 3 and so on up to n. And so you will see that this first term is 3 into 1 by 3, which will remain un uncancelled and it will come in the final Sum. Similarly, this 1 by n plus 1 into 1 by 3 to the power n will not get cancelled and come in the final sum. Rest of the terms 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 is 3 by 2. So this will get cancelled. Okay. And uh, sorry, uh, yeah, this will get cancelled because when 3 by 2 multiply gets multiplied with 1 by 3 square, that is. 1 by 2 into 3. So this and this will get cancelled. Similarly, this becomes 1 by 3 cube. Over here, this is 1 and then multiplied with 1 by 3 cube. So this will get cancelled with this one. And this will go on and we will have the sum as 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 into 1 by 3 to the power n. Problem 180 says that if 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square and so on up to infinity is equal to 5 square by 6 then find 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square is equal to infinity. So in this case we let s original series to be s and then we say that s prime only for the even terms. So 4s prime is equal to s. Okay, and you see here we have taken 2 square common from all these and we taken to the left hand side. So you see that 4s prime is equal to s original s. So s prime is equal to s by 4 that is pi by 24. So 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square would be s into s prime which would be equal to 3 by 4 s which is pi square by 8 because it would be pi square by 6 3 into 2 is 6 and 4 into 2 is pi square by 8. With this we come to the end of 18th set of the problem. And I hope that you have found this video useful and informative. If so, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that uh, the video reaches to many more students and they can benefit from it. Also, if you have a question or comment or suggestion, please use the comment box for that. And thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy.